Hey guys, and welcome back to Evil Within. When we last left off, we had just uh, cleared out the um, city hall, which was quite interesting. We managed to reactivate the admitter, and we shot, uh, well, shot a face in the face. Um, now, off camera, I did go back to the Union Square, and I will insert like a highlight video of what happened in there right now. O'Neill. Sebastian, did you get lost? The theater's not in this section of Union. I know. I came by to give you an update. Harrison is dead. But he helped me get the stable field emitter back on. Really pissed that psycho off. Cut my face good. Guy's a real freak. Said his name was Stefano. And then he got away with the core, I know. So what are you going to do about it? I'm gonna go to the theater and finish this. Well, since you're here, you might as well grab a cup of coffee and use the workbench if you need to. But don't take too long. Union is falling down around us. Once I get Lily away from this sicko, I'm taking her out of here. But we're supposed to restore the core and save Union. Newsflash, O'Neill. I don't care about Union. Mobius abandoned you in here. Why are you so faithful to them? They're my bosses. Do you always do what you're told without question? We can't all just do what we want to do, Sebastian. It would be anarchy. I'll take anarchy over blind obedience any day. Guess that's the difference between you and me. Yeah, well, this debate has been fun. But I got stuff to do. See you around, O'Neill. And that's basically what happens. So we have keys, we have lots of materials, and all that good stuff. I'm hoping that I haven't missed anything in there. But uh, maybe towards the end of the game I'll, I'll do a sweep. I don't know. Anywho, let's spend some of our goodies. Oh, actually. Have you got anything for me? Uh, ooh. No, I guess not. We can operate the projector, but we can't do anything else. That's fine. Let's go sit in the brain chair. And whilst in the brain chair, we will uh, get some upgrades and open some uh, locker doors. Because it seems like the reasonable you thing like to you do. Could use some help, detective. Oh, I can always use help, my dear. As long as it's friendly help from you, I'm happy. Uh, rubbish. Come on, come on, give me something good. Some green gel would... Uh, well, it's not bad, I suppose. Uh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, well, not, not, not great, but... Uh, yeah, disappointing. Disappointing. Actually, considering we got the shotgun upgrade pouch... Yep, we can get that too. Lovely. Let's see what upgrades we can buy. See if There's we can get anything wrong worthwhile. Being cautious. But you can't avoid fighting forever. You keep saying Maybe that. You should think about adding some combat. But skills. we're actually doing quite well with the old uh, bullet. Even less kickback with firing weapons could be nice. 
Uh, greatly reduce reticle sway. I mean, it's not too bad, to be honest. Let's go for you. And you. Because why not? There we go. We're a little bit more balanced now. Uh, yeah, let's kick back. Although, having said that, the kickback, I don't think is a big issue, really. Uh, unless we get some weapons later on that, that have uh, massive amounts of kickback. But uh, I guess we shall cross that bridge when we come to it. Right, let's have a little look. See if we can upgrade anything. Crafting. We've got lots of bullets now, which is nice. Uh, almost full of shotgun cartridges, which is really good. Uh... Yeah. Weapon upgrades. Oh, we got 191. Yeah, that's like 8 bloody hundred, man. Ah, oh, as much as I would really like that. 120 to hold 12 bullets. Possibly, I guess. What does this do? Increase walking speed whilst aiming. Eh. Eh. Don't really use it like that. What about shotgun firepower? Yeah, I guess we can go for some of this, I suppose. And that only gives you a 40% chance for a crit anyway. Uh, but I do like the shotgun. I like the shotgun a heck of a lot. We need a high quality upgrade part for that. Um, yeah, let's buff our shotgun. Why not? 240. Reload time. That, like, basically takes your reload time down. It's like, a, like, that makes a pointless difference. So, what about the handgun? Uh, that does actually make a dramatic difference to the price, I suppose. Uh... Yeah, why not? Why not? Why the devil not? Okay, good to go. Let's get back out into the marrow. Now. Now, now, now. Ooh, put that puppy away. Keep this out. I don't know if I'm wasting materials. I don't know. I'm getting these uh, kind of quote pointless update upgrades uh, I don't like to think anything is pointless in this game I mean firepower is the um, the obvious choice firepower and ammo capacity because they're the things you're going to be using uh, and it's nice to maximize um, every bullet reload speeds not really an issue um, so I'm not that's probably my least uh, least favorite upgrade I would say Right, now, back here, my pedigree chums. We need to go through here. Onwards, Sebastian, onwards. Oh, hello. Lily? Oh, this place is messing with my mind. Uh, that's kind of what it does, Sebastian, my friend. It's hardly the happiest place on earth. I mean, I quite enjoy it here. <coughs> but I can certainly understand why you're not having the best time. You know? What do we have? Ooh. Weapon parts. And some gel. Nice. Ooh. And a pipe. I will take it. Onwards and upwards, my friend. Onwards and upwards. So, I'm hoping that we're going to get to an actual proper... Ooh. Ooh. An actual proper new area that we can play with and explore. Because the last area was just more of a... A little zone, really. It was um, a zone contained little uh, bit of story. Whereas, hopefully... I want a whole new sandbox place to play in. And have a merry old time. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? 
Oh, nice. Handgun ammo pouch. Holds 38 rounds now. Nice. Wait, mind if I do? And 10 gold gunpowder. Oh. 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 Hello. Calm down, love. Didn't even see her there. Sneaky little bitch. Well, she's dead now. Which pleases me greatly. Yeah, there's still quite a lot of reticle square, you know. It's not the night and day difference that I had originally envisioned, but uh, it's better. Also, macros are now working. Ooh. Hey, bub. Hey, fella. What uh, what's going on? Anything? You're very interested, regardless of what's happening. Ah, really? How did you see me? I'm not buying what you're selling. I was behind a wall, goddammit. Really? You can still see me. Alright, well, let's just keep running. And hide. Really don't want to waste any ammo that we don't have to. Come on, guys, settle down. Settle down. Oh, here he comes. Let's see if we can draw him in a little bit. No. Bottles are basically useless. They really are. They've got such a small uh, area effect. They're not really worth using. Unfortunately. God damn it. Seriously? Sigh. Come on, guys. Play fair. Really don't want to waste anything decent on you guys. Because you're just not worth it. You know? And I'm sorry. But it's true. I would rather save my bullets for bigger things. Not insignificant little chumps like you. I'm sorry you feel that way. But it, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to knife you in the back of the head. And it will be ju uh, a joyous occasion for all of us. So if you could comply... Bollocks. If I can just get one of them. There we go. That's the result. Hey, buddy. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. Yeah, that rush attack um, to charge enemies is rubbish, actually. It never really seems to work, and quite often you don't even get the indicator um, highlighting the enemies to rush. It's, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just buggy. It's a shame, because it should be quite a useful little feature. Um, although, having said that, the actual range uh, is very small. So, it's not that good. A useful oddity, I guess. When the when the moon aligns, and, um, well, should I say, when the planets align, and the, the blue moon hangs in the sky, and pigs fly wildly, it's useful. Apart from that, it's not that great. Ooh, 
hello. Looks like it's been a bit of a, a biohazard in here. You get it? Because... What the hell is this stuff? Well, this stuff is nothing. Um, none of this exists, Sab, because you're in, you know... You're in the Matrix, basically. But, uh... I don't actually know what this is. This looks a little bit Resident Evil 6 to me. Ooh, it's gooey. It's gooey. And I like it. It's almost like someone's frying an egg or something. Lovely. Yeah. Listen to that sound. That sounds absolutely ruddy delicious. Oh. Somebody or something is trying to communicate. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? Uh -oh. But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look. Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept. No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra. Yep. You were right all along. Bet you're feeling a little bit silly now. But why am I seeing this now? Yeah, I don't know. Photographic slide. A relic from a pre-phone camera era. These are found mostly in old people's attics and estate sales. They can be viewed using the slide projector in Sebastian's room. Yes. Pretty sure it's uh, already informed us of that at one point. Um, yeah, so, okay, cool. She was certainly right. I wonder if we find out what happens to uh, Myra then. Because... I think we should. Maybe even um, might get to play as her in some kind of DLC, perhaps. That would be cool. Well. Well, well, well. We are not alone. Good. Because that would be boring. I need meat sacks to shoot in the face. I do like me some meat sack shooting. Ooh. Oh, buddy. Wow. I hope you're dead. Oh, God, look at that. Yep, she always use protection, I'm afraid. Otherwise, you might end up looking like him. Protection from evil. Uh oh. Ooh. What the? Fuck is that? Ah. Oh. <laughs> well. Good God! Look at the size of that thing. Maybe I can sneak past it. Yes. I want to fight it. Oh god. That thing is cool. I'm a fan. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Oh. I guess it's regenerating. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. 
not quite some kind of boss level thing, but uh, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. A goo monster. Looks like a big pile of snot. Yep. Didn't take much abuse. But I suppose our handgun is pretty boss. Uh, so, I, you know, you can't be too hard on it. Uh-oh. Yeah, try and stand off the egg white. <laughs> At least that's what I think this stuff is. It's like a massive protein farm. Uh-oh. Better not think too, uh, too closely about that. Mm-mm. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for some more. Would have been pretty cool uh, if we got an achievement for killing that. Or something for killing that. Did it drop any gel, maybe? Hey, bub. You, uh, you got anything for me? No? Stingy bastard. I killed you and everything. And you give me nothing. I think it's pretty badass though. Is it regenerating? Yeah, maybe. I wonder if we stay here long enough. I wonder if it would. Oh no, it's got loads of heads. Ah. Okay. Strange goo monster. Be seeing you on the other side, maybe. I gotta get the hell out of here. Uh, yeah. What gives you that idea? Nothing gets past you, Sebastian. Nothing gets past you. Well, there's a forklift. Maybe Ryu Hazuki is around here somewhere, and he would lend a hand. What? Mysterious bobblehead. You feel like you've seen this thing before, but you can't quite put your finger on where... Um, okay. Obtain mysterious bobblehead. I guess that's just a collectible. Um. Is there somewhere we can look at those? No, I guess not. That's a shame. be pretty cool if there was uh, somewhere we could actually examine those. Maybe there is in the menu somewhere. Ooh. Oh! Guess who's back. Back again. Hello you. Are you a little bit sore that I shot your face off earlier? It's okay. I understand. This is going to get rather unpleasant for you though. Or Maybe not. I doubt that's the last we've seen of him, Sab. I this place was supposed to be fucking stable. Well. I guess this is as stable as it gets, my friend. The we'll destruction has spread all the way down here, too. Yeah, Don't looks know like how it. long this place is going to last. Hmm. Oh well. It looks like that thing has um, Ghostbusters. Or, should I say, it looks like his, uh, the Marshmallow Dude. Uh, more like his retarded uh, mutant brother, maybe. Hmm. I'll have to find out what that thing was called. I can't remember. I'm kind of annoyed that I can't remember. Uh, right. Alright, a little bit slower. There we go. 
I'm quite a fan of those. They're quite cool. Ooh. File. Emergency core displacement protocols. It is imperative that a missing core be replaced as soon as possible. A core that has been missing for even a few hours can affect STEM programming. If the core is missing for over 36 hours, emergency protocols must be inst instituted in order to prevent the core from escaping. Emergency protocols are only accessible for Mobius operatives with Alpha Security Clearance and can only be viewed on the Maro servers. No. I see. Well. Ah, oh, god damn it. It's so painful having to leave ammo. But we can always come back, I suppose. Especially ammo for the shotgun. God damn it. I'll be searching all these boxes. They always seem to have relatively good stuff inside. Oh, here we are. Someone's been watching. Yep. Stefan, perhaps? Lily. Or Lily? Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Yeah. Don't move. Hello. You're Mobius, right? I Shut up! <coughs> Don't say a word. You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? Ugh. Turn around. Do it slow. Intriguing. Uh, ah, let's see. You're Yukiko Hoffman. That one. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? What? Lack of micro expressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Well, okay then. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Yep, I guess so. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Mm-hmm. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. You're forgiven so under the circumstances. Now? That means yeah. things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have, but the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on. But this place is still falling apart, and I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We uh. doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify... <coughs> This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Yeah. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Well, that's Let's pair communicators so that we can stay in touch. 
I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. Excellent. Now you're uh, speaking my language. Just uh, clean my glasses. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Lily thinks I'm dead. So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. Intriguing. Tell me about psychopaths. If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us, he's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Yeah. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. <laughs> so terribly responsible for all of this. As you should. I helped devise those tests. Okay, something more to this. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just Ooh. doesn't seem right here. Red Joe. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. Go but on. I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. Oh, give us something, love. Fuck's sake. Alright. Fair play. Well, uh... Okay, I mean, you are a little bit more friendly than the, uh, the other fellow. So, uh... So, yeah, there's that. Right, give me... Give me... Give... Nope, can't. Um, I think we shall end this video with a nice cup of coffee. That does seem uh, to be a good idea. Cool candidates to all concern from Operative uh, Greyshound. Lily Castellanos, uh, initial findings. The ideal core candidate must have an unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Given these parameters, there are only two possible candidate types. Geomaniacs with psychopathic tendencies or children. We all know what happens the last time an egomaniac with a psychopathic tendencies was in STEM, so a child is our best bet. Uh huh. Sometimes you can scroll and sometimes you can't. Uh, having access to standardized school test results, we were able to narrow down our options. We feel that we found the ideal core candidate in Lily Casti Castianos. Her tests show that she is not uh, only has a oh, goalless ego, but she also exhibits incredibly advanced empathy for a child her age. We're sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. Mmm. Mmm-mmm. -mm. Well, well, well. Well, yeah, we could actually use a nice hot coffee. Hot coffee, get the words out. Hot coffee. And we're not talking about the GTA mod here. That was a nightmare video to watch. Better buddy. Good man. Now let's go back to your room. And we shall check out the slide. 
keep thinking my cats are meowing at me. Um, you don't have any goodies for me yet, seriously. Right, let's check out our fourth slide. Huh? Go on. <laughs> Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. <coughs> I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself. But after she was injured on duty, I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I, I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. Mm hmm Perhaps if she had proof and you were both detectives, maybe you should have given her a little bit more credit. Um, you know. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. And when we return, well, hopefully we're going to go on to a new area. A nice fresh area to explore. And I, for one, welcome this. Till then, guys. Till then.